I'm so excited. Ah! Look at it! <laughs> Look at the Sony motor load. All right, what do we have here? We have the best chicharrones ever and a whole bunch of other Filipino snacks. Boy bawang, <laughs> chippy, piatos. Ding dong, we have a coffee candy that I don't know how to Copico. pronounce. Cheese ring, another, we got a teacher corn, oishi. 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 Clover chips, sky flakes, sunflower crackers, and a non Filipino snack that we'll get to. Magadang Aro, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today, we're in for a really exciting one. I'm here at my local Asian supermarket to go ahead and pick up a few Asian snacks. Um, and not just any kind of Asian snacks, Filipino snacks at that. So anything that was made in the Philippines, we're gonna go ahead and find it, pick it up, buy it, and later on, you're gonna see me try it. I'm super excited for that. I love snacks and I can't wait for you guys to see this. Go ahead and join me. Click that thumbs up button down below and don't forget to subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. Let's go. Grab it. What is it? Cheese rings. Cheese rings. And you might as well get this one too. Oishi. Oishi is 99 cents. How much are the cheese rings? 99 cents. Oh, you got the clover? Alright, so there's more Filipino crackers right here. Sunflower. Original. You gotta go with OG. I lost one. Just one. OG. Original. And then, oh, this one. So this one's not a Filipino product, but I remember growing up, this was very popular in the Philippines. I think we called it White Rabbit. Hold it up. White Rabbit. All right, we got Filipino candies. Coffee flavor. You got enough? Coffee, straight up. How much is that? Dollar forty-nine. They also have the XO. All right, here's the haul. This isn't gonna be it, though. We're gonna go ahead and head over to another Asian market further down into town. Um, but you guys, don't forget to subscribe if you're feeling my vibe, and also like this video and hit that notification bell. It really helps us out. Also, if you would like, go ahead and comment down below as well. We love the engagement, but really, 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 guys, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the algorithm. Yeah, <laughs> hit that thumbs up. It allows us to make more videos like this for you guys. Yes, yes. And this is the haul. There's a lot of snacks going on. Uh, this is probably gonna be a two-part video, so don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. That is super important, you guys. Please, 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 thumbs up this video and comment down below. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well. That also helps out with the algorithm. But most importantly, thumbs up. <laughs> it's just another way that you can help support us. Isn't it 
helps us create more videos like these for you guys. <laughs> Welcome to our Filipino Snacks Mukbang. I am so excited, you guys. Look at all of these amazing snacks. We have sweet corn, we have oishi, we've got clover chips, we've got my favorite chicharrones. I was so excited to see this, you guys. I literally almost started crying. <laughs> my favorite? Yep. Yeah. But we'll get to this in our second video because this is gonna take that much time because we have a lot of snacks to get for you guys. All right, count them down. How many snacks do we have? We have the receipts. <laughs> From the local Asian market, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Count them twelve different snacks to try out. And from our Pinoy grocer, Mom and we Pop have shop. two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Two of which aren't snacks. Yes, two of which are noodles, but that'll be another video. <laughs> so Actually, four. Four of them. So four that aren't snacks. Twelve and twelve. twelve and We've got twelve and twelve to try out today. So that is a grand total of twenty-four different snacks. So this will be a two-part series. So make sure you click that notification bell to stay tuned and be notified for the second video coming up next time. So for this video, we're gonna go ahead and focus on our local Asian market. For each item that I'm trying out, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the price up here somewhere. <laughs> and then at the very end, I'm gonna add everything up all together and give you the price in US dollars and Philippine pesos. And as we eat these, also let us know how much it costs where you live down below in the comments. Because <laughs> it does vary from place to place. Yeah. I think the markup here is like a thousand percent. Yeah, it's pretty ridiculous, you guys. <laughs> but, I understand it's a lot more expensive to live here in the US, so. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Adrian. And I'm Dion. <laughs> and welcome. I appreciate you being here. <laughs> yes. Let's get to snacking. Let's start with the good old sunflower crackers. Original. Okay, so these are sunflower brand crackers. Original flavor. It says, enjoy sunflower crackers. Crispy, thin, yummy, all in one. Made in the Philippines. All of these snacks are made in the Philippines, by the way. Except. Except for this, but we'll get to that later. I did, not, I did not know it was gonna be like that. I thought it was gonna be like in packets. All right, so I want you to guess what it's gonna taste like. They're like normal butter crackers. They're thin, it smells interesting. I don't know what exactly it smells like. Maybe like margarine? Tastes like margarine too. Vegetable shortening. Margarine. And it has butter. Why does it have both? It's interesting. Just your basic cracker butter flavored cracker. Now, do you like this one or saltine crackers better? Saltine crackers are different though. Saltines don't have like a butter flavor to them. It's just salt. <laughs> All right, so growing up, I remember these crackers, they have, um, they have the ones that are filled with flavor in jam. the middle. It's not really jam, but I remember there was one where 
it was lemon flavor. So you can kind of have it as like a school snack. Alright, so if you tried that, you gotta try. It's rival. Skyflakes. Now, disclaimer, I have had Skyflakes before and I love them. Like, his mom always has a big tub of Skyflakes at their house and I would just like steal packs of them and like shove them into my bag. <laughs> They're delicious. But, they didn't have just plain Skyflakes at the local Asian market. And I didn't know that we were gonna go to the Philippine corner store. So, uh, we got- This is a special one. Garlic flavor. <laughs> it's for our Bawang gang. <laughs> Again, let us know if you're team Bawang or team no Bawang. All right, and these actually come in individual packs, which, so I'm kind of on the fence about having them in individual packs within a pack, um, just because of the environment, you know, less packaging is better. But, at least for these, I know the whole pack won't go stale. Let's go ahead and try these bad boys out. I've never had these before. But you've had Skyflakes before, okay, right? so. just not this flavor. It's very yellow. <laughs> very Filipino colors. Sturdy packaging, that's for sure. I think it's to guarantee that the... That it's gonna stay fresh. Yeah. That it won't go stale. Flakes in it. Oh, mine has them like down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it has like fried garlic flakes. I don't know if it's real or if it's just a flavoring kind of thing. It's like eating garlic breadsticks. Yeah, That's what it but in a cracker. Of. This is pretty good. It's good. Knowing the original flavor of Sky Flakes, I would choose Sky Flakes. I just like their taste better and the texture of it. They're a little bit thicker and they're not. Hmm. The other one's a bit more um, snappier. This one is a little more flaky. My memory serves me correctly. People would have Sky Flakes with coffee. Yeah, I can see that. I've never had it with garlic, uh, gar coffee. garlic Sky Flakes, but I do remember with the original ones, people would eat that and have coffee. Would they dip it in their coffee? I don't remember. Probably not. Imagine dipping garlic the coffee. I wonder what that tastes like. Let's try cheese ring. Cheese ring. Or just kidding, it's called cheese ring. Just cheese ring. One ring. <laughs> just Wait, one. <laughs> is that anime on it? Yes. Let's just see anime on it. Is that, I don't know what language that is. Is that Japanese? Maybe it's Japanese. But it's made in the Philippines, so. Made in the Philippines. It is a corn based snack. Let's just get it. Cheese flavor. Cheese flavor, yep. There's two servings per container, 160 calories no per one container. Cares. I Let's care. Just eat it.
<laughs> no, 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 <laughs> try it that way. The factory <laughs> seal is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> Filipinos got it right with that. There is no going stale. I can't say that about American chips. We'll just tear it on we'll the just side. Just tear it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, wait. There has to be a tear mark. There it is. There that, it is. That right was here. me. That's oh, what that I was, was doing. Okay, it's right here. So it's like cheese puffs. Oh, they're very, they're very neat. Wait, I remember <laughs> these. I remember these. All right, so growing up, we would put them in our, put them in our fingers. Oh, I just got I can't this. fit anymore, but <laughs> this was the idea of it. Okay, so it kind of reminds me of like a Cheeto, but it smells better than a Cheeto. Like it smells like actual real cheddar cheese and not. You gotta eat it cheese. like how we used to eat it as kids. <laughs> look, look, it actually fits! <laughs> Here. Let me marry you again. Oh, I do. I think it'll fit my thumb. I think how many of you guys thumb. remember eating this like this? <laughs> Here we go. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's... That's very good. Ooh, I remember this. I remember this so well. Yep. That's interesting, because I'm expecting it to taste like a Cheeto, but it tastes nothing like a Cheeto. It's like, it's sweet. Sweet and cheesy. Mm. I want to say that's weird, but that's the, like, that's the wrong word to use. It's this delicious. So this is so good. It's amazing. Mmm. Wow. This thing got me posing like this guy. <laughs> I could I could eat an entire big bag of this, no problem. Oh, this is so good. So it's like cheese puffs, but with sweetness in it. Oh. Literally. Sweet what I cheese puffs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The texture is kind of like Cheetos, almost, but but not really. Oh, I think you can put one more. There it is. <laughs> mm. it's really good. I don't think we should eat it all because we're we got like twenty more to go. As you keep eating them. Mm. Okay. okay, I remember this used to be this used to cost uh piso. San piso. Piso in Spanish is floor, so. Piso. Don't know. I would just get like three of these back then. Alright, that's enough. We have so many to go. <laughs> I don't know, I don't remember if I had the barbecue flavor or not. 
But I do remember they were very light, airy, and like crisp. So I'm hoping that's how they are today. All right. Because I left the cheese off my fingers. <laughs> we're gonna make her read this one. Simut Sarab Kasama. There you go. Did I say it right? Simut? Simut. Simut. Simut Sarab Kasama. Alright, let's go. Alright, clover chips, barbecue corn snacks. I've noticed that a lot of Filipino snacks are corn based. They're not like potato. It says, unique corn snack, incredibly yummy and flavorful, wonderfully crunchy, deliciously addictive, best shared with friends. Clover chips, simut sarap, kasama. All right, we'll see. We'll see if it's really addictive. So what I really enjoy and have noticed about Asian snacks and their packaging is that they like super seal it, so you can't really open it like this, um, like you would most American or European snacks. Try again. Tear them at the side. Try again. <laughs> Try again. You can't do it. Harder. Can't do it. Harder. My fingers are slipping. I can't do it. Okay. Well, you're gonna pop the <laughs> bottom. Okay, it says tear here. So we're gonna go ahead and tear it there. Here. Wait. Alright. Wait. All right. Let's try this. Oh, wait. It smells nice. It smells. It smells familiar. It smells like. The packet and the ramen noodles mixed with um, with like dough. Yeah. Think pizza dough sprinkled with ramen noodle seasoning. <laughs> That's what it smells like. This is what it looks like. It smells like ramen noodle seasoning. Mm. Kind of tastes like it. Too. Salty. It's very salty. Salty. But good. I like the. Once you bite into it, it just like dissolves in your mouth. Definitely can taste the corn. Yeah. You know what it's like? It's like air puff corn chips. Mm hmm. The way that it makes my mouth feel at the end is a little like... It dries it out, right? Yeah, it dries my mouth out. Does it have MSG? Yeah. Yes, it does. It does have MSG, so mm -hmm. that's why. Maybe that's why it's amazing. But I'm gonna leave that for another time. Alright, let's go on to something that I've never tried before. After I drink some water. tried these two before. I believe I have. Sweet corn I already know I've tried before. So let's try these. This I know I've never had before. This is the Ilocos Chicha Corn. And in Spanish it says Chicharron de Maíz de So I'm guessing this is like cornic. Sabor de queso. Maybe cornic with chicharron flavor? It doesn't look like that on the packaging though. It kind of, it almost looks like popcorn on the packaging. If you can see. Look at that head. <laughs> Again, 
super sealed. It's very like, how, how would you call it? Airtight, I guess. Like, especially down here, there's like really no, no air in it, like some other chips that you would have. I, you know, again, to preserve. But, okay, so I don't, Dion just told me that in the Philippines, you guys, like, this is normal for you guys to have, like, a bag like this and it's filled all the way up and there's no air in it. Here in the U.S., we have huge bags of potato chips and you have, like, this much chips in it and then the rest of it is just air, which is so, like, kind of, kind of like this, but even this has more, more chips than air. Yeah, so describe it to me. So... You hear that, or like you see it, how it actually like it goes in. But down here, you know, there's actual product in here, and then air. So in the U.S., it would be like this, this much, much would be chips, and then all of this would be air. Ilocos chichacorn. Ilocos. Ilocos chichacorn. Ilocos. Okay, so flavor it's, is this? It's, another cheese flavor. Yeah, another cheese flavor. Yeah, it looks um sir. It's paper. Oh, that's interesting. So it's like So it is like cornic. Yeah, like cornic, but it's like cornic and popcorn made love and had a baby. <laughs> Can you guys see that? Alright. Wait, no. So how you would eat it is you would just go. No, I'm not cool doing bump. that. Wow. That's interesting. I don't really chase I don't really taste the cheese in that. I taste the corn, that's for sure. Let's sit in your tongue. You'll taste the cheese. Salty. I taste more corny. Ooh, that was salty. Salty, corny. Like you. It doesn't really smell like anything. Oh, it smells like. I couldn't do that. It smells like corny. Yeah, that doesn't really smell like. It doesn't smell like anything, really. Okay, so even though it's corn and it's pop, it doesn't smell like popcorn. No. It doesn't smell like popcorn. It doesn't smell like popcorn, but it doesn't smell like corn either. And it doesn't really... It tastes more like corn but it's not exactly like that. Not too salty either. So it's pretty good. I don't know, it's interesting. And it's not like hard like cornic or corn nuts. Like you won't break a tooth on it. Yeah, I can see why people would drink beer with this. Yeah. This is definitely like sit down, chilling with your friends, having a few beers kind of thing. All right, so what do you want to try next? Well, since these two are pretty much paired together, I'm gonna go ahead and try the sweet corn, but it's not really me trying the sweet corn because I've already had it. Is it the same flavor? I think so. Same flavor. I just got two because I love them. Okay. Golden sweet corn. Enjoy the original sweet corn by Regent. Again, another corn-based snack. Um, it says two servings per container and 150 calories. Yeah, so this one has 
a bit of air in here. But again, more snack than air. Will it open like this? No, it won't. <laughs> Sweet corn. Okay, I remember these two. Oh, duh. It's called guys, sweet corn. Can you guys see that? Can you see that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love the way it smells! Is there a smell that we can compare it to? Sweet corn. Sweet corn! <laughs> Think, okay, you know those cans of um, creamed corn? Creamed corn. Yeah, that's yeah. what it smells like. Oh, it's so good! I could just like, I could do this all day. Oh, that's so, so good. All right, let's go ahead and try it. Open the top. Here I go, smelling it again. That's sweet. That is so good! Oh. I'm not gonna enjoy that. Right. Hey, they like it. <laughs> mm. Okay. Now I know why I like the cheese ring so much. So the cheese ring is pretty much sweet corn in a different shape, but with cheese on it. It's also by the same company too, Regent. Yes, that's probably why. Regent Foods. Mm. It's probably the same ingredients, just different sizes too. Different sizes and just cheese. Okay. No, it's different. It doesn't have a sweet corn flavor. So I really appreciate how these snacks, and I'm pretty sure snacks here in the US have this, but I don't know if everywhere has it, but I appreciate that here. They have a little man throwing his trash out. Don't know if you guys can see that, but I appreciate that. Clean up after yourself, you guys. It says, keep our country clean. For those of you who don't know our dogs, I'll link a video right up here. But Canela, she is our pickiest eater. And she likes these. Try to throw it and see if you can catch it. Okay, you ready? Yeah, yeah. You, have to, you have to throw it into my mouth. You gotta catch it. Uh huh. Ready? Yep. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> try it again. <laughs> no, just say. <laughs> this brand but a variation of it his family likes to have these in their house and they just they snack on them all the time so I've had something like this before however I have not had something like this this is a spicy version of these spicy spicy spicy, spicy. spicy. <laughs> so these are the spicy version of these they are the oishi prawn crackers and these are the oishi prawn crackers spicy spicy Flavor. Do you know what oishi means? No, <laughs> I don't remember what oishi. Hey Google, 
What does oishi in Japanese mean? Oishi means delicious in Japanese. Oishi. 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 Do you remember your Japanese? Hajimimashite! Watashi wa ayumi desu. Doezo yoroshiku. Alright. That's like the only Japanese I can remember from middle school. <laughs> but I think I did a pretty good job. Anyways. Let's get to going with these. I am pretty sure I'm gonna like these. I'm not so sure about these uh, because I don't know how spicy they're gonna be. Yeah, I'm kind of curious. However, I do enjoy spicy and Dion is the black sheep in his family because he is the only one who likes spicy. Extremely spicy. Like extremely spicy. Like you saw him eat that Thai chili pepper in our double video. Insane. All right, let's start with the not so spicy one. Well, Again, fit. she tries from the middle, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Okay. And from the corner we go. Maybe not this corner. Okay. Woo! That is shrimpy. <laughs> <laughs> Fishy. That was very fishy. <laughs> Not like. Oof. Oh. Look. Well, yo, know, you like that? You can smell that. Oh, he likes that. Ooh, oh. Come on. Up. Up. Oh, you can smell that. Huh? I know. This was nice. You like that? Oh, here goes the other one. <laughs> you want to try too? You want to try? Oh. Up. Oh. But it. <laughs> You know what it smells like to me? It's, it doesn't smell like fish sauce. It smells more like um, fish food. Like the fish flakes you feed your fish. <laughs> That's what it smells like, right? You gotta have the whole thing. Got it. Whole thing. No, I don't like these. Keep here. <laughs> Just describe it. Sweet, salty, fishy. It's a little too fishy for me. Okay, I'm gonna teach you. I'm gonna teach you a trick. Oh, that's way too fishy for me. I'm gonna teach you something I learned from my mom while eating this. Oh, that's so fishy. The ones that I had before, I think they're Korean, right? And to me, they're not as fishy. These are very fishy. All right, so here's what I learned from my mom back then. You can dip these into the vinegar. And it doesn't taste as fishy? And it doesn't taste as fishy. Okay, let's try it. Better. It's nicer, right? It's nicer. Try it again. And then you could also put black pepper in here too. I'm just gonna like dip the whole thing in there. Mm -hmm. Some people, some people just drop the whole thing in there and let it soak up all the vinegar. Oh, and let it get soggy? Yeah. That's for, I think that's for me. People who like that sour, tangy taste to it. Okay, yeah. It's definitely better with the, with the vinegar. vinegar. So thanks, Mom. Thanks, Mama. So I, de I definitely, if, okay. If really strong fishy flavors like deter you and you wanna try these, definitely dip them in vinegar. It helps. It brings, oh, it's so nice. I don't even know how to describe that. Like it still has like that fishy flavor to it, but it's just not as strong. All right, <clears throat> let's try to spice it. Why is spicy? <laughs> it's the same thing, All right. but we're pretty sure that's supposed to be Thai chili peppers. We hope it is. Yeah, it looks like Thai chili peppers. At least on the packaging it does. 
Alright, so... Doesn't say anything really besides how to store it. And it says, oh wow, oishi! Prawn cracker, spicy flavor. And that's it. But let's see what kind of pepper they put in here. It's probably just cayenne. It says chili seasoning. Nope, they didn't say. So it's so probably not gonna be a spicy. Probably not, but I don't know. Did Filipinos eat spicy, spicy food? Like Thais? No. It doesn't smell as fishy. It smells more vinegary. <laughs> yeah. Itadakimasu. Let's try it without the vinegar first. Oh, I like this better. Wow. Okay. Well, I can't really say if it's spicy or not. Cause Wait for it. I can feel the tingle, but for me, it's just a light. No, I Is it hot for you? I can feel it. Your parents would not like this. Okay. It's not like, oh my goodness, my mouth is on fire. It's, it's a pleasant, it creeps up on you kind of spice. It's nice. But then again, I'm a little bit desensitized to spicy now. Um, okay. It, okay. For my American viewers or for those who have had American snacks, it's not like hot Cheetos or hot fries. It's not like that. It's not like that artificial um, flavor, I guess. It's like a nice, it actually tastes like chili. By the way, hit that like button. I know how Filipinos are. We like to eat with our feet up. I mean, with our leg up like this. Comment down below if you do the same thing. The taste that I get is first, it's sweet. There's a little bit of tang to it. Mm -hmm. Like from the vinegar. Sweet, salty, tangy. No, not even with the vinegar. No, 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 because it has oh. vinegar in it. Does it? Okay. So it's got sweet, salty, sour, and spicy. So it's got all four components that makes this taste wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like these a lot better than the original ones. But if you do not like spicy, this isn't going to be for you. <laughs> really? Yeah. So on a scale from one to five, how many chili peppers? Like two and a half. Two and a half? That's like a half to me. No, because it's you like have one. to understand, for me, I'm a, I'm a little desensitized to it because I live with you now. And we like to eat spicy. But for those who don't normally eat spicy, this would be like, oh my gosh, my mouth. All right, you guys, that's it for the savory. We're gonna go ahead and move on to the sweet. Oh, and I'm so excited for the sweet ones. I do love my savory snacks. Like I am for sure a savory over sweet girl. But I do love sweet snacks too. Especially these. This right here is the Copico, right? Copico. Copico. Coffee Which candy. Which basically is like my coffee. Coffee. Co. Oh. Copico. My so, coffee. Dion's parents also have these in their house. Mm -hmm. And I steal them. Sorry. Do you always steal them? I do. <laughs> Delicious food and snacks, yes, I will take. I will take, 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 take. But I always, I ask for permission first. All right. Sometimes. All right, so this is Copico coffee candy. It says, Copico, your pocket coffee anytime, anywhere. Oh, this actually isn't Filipino. It's up? No, it's. Indonesian. Indonesian. <gasps> Gasp. Okay, so I guess the Filipino one is XO. But okay. this is the one his parents had at home. Alright, so I do remember, I think for sa for Isang Piso, you can get three of these. 
back, way back when. And this doesn't have any um, high fructose corn syrup. All right, let's okay, try. So read the ingredients. All right, so this one has sugar, tapioca syrup, palm oil, coffee extract, butter, emulsifier, soy, lect lectin, lectin, caramel color, salt, natural coffee flavor. Contains milk and soy. Yes. All right, let's try this one. Just a regular coffee candy. <coughs> Just like coffee, and it tastes just like coffee. Mm. So good! Woo! <laughs> I'm a huge fan of these. They're addicting too. But I don't know if this is like a replacement for actual, like an actual cup of coffee, which by the way, coffee straight up. I think it's just candy. For people who like coffee. Probably. Let's look it up. All right, so it says, original coffee flavor has about 20 to 25 milligrams per piece. And usually a cup of coffee has around 100 milligrams of caffeine. So you have to eat four to five pieces of these candies to get your average cup of joe. You shouldn't be eating this right Which, now. Which honestly, yeah, no, we shouldn't. But it's delicious. The next one we have is Copico Cappuccino or Cappuccino candy. So I'm assuming the only thing different with this one is that it has milk, milk in it. More milk. Yeah, cream. It says the same thing on the back. Copico, your pocket coffee anytime, anywhere. Ingredients, sugar, tapioca syrup, palm oil, milk powder, coffee extract, butter, salt, emulsifier, soy, lectin, natural coffee flavor, caramel color, and vanillin, which is vanilla extract, pretty much, like a vanilla flavor. I wonder if I'm gonna like this one more. Okay, so off the bat, I can feel the difference of it. They're round compared to the coffee ones where it's a rectangle. See how it smells? It smells milky. You can see the layers in it. I'm gonna. Oh, it's got a nice little stamp on it. Can you see the layers? It smells good. Mm. <clears throat> it doesn't taste like a cappuccino. It tastes more like a caramel coffee candy. It tastes like a caramel latte or caramel macchiato that you would get at Starbucks or something. It tastes good though. But I think I, I prefer the original coffee better. Like, I feel like for this, they should, hey baby. I feel like for this, they should have branded it as a caramel macchiato or caramel coffee candy, then saying cappuccino. Cappuccino. Yeah. I just tasted the coffee of it. I think this one's a lot sweeter than the other one. Maybe they do like a, like an overall caramel coating or caramel flavor. By the way, do you guys say caramel or caramel? Or caramel? Caramel? Caramel. Filipinos. Caramel. Caramel. Filipinos. Caramel. 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 That was a bad idea. I just, um, <laughs> I'll chew down into it. Don't do that. 10 out of 10, do not recommend. Just, you know, savor it, suck on it. It'll get it, stuck in your teeth. It's stuck to my teeth, yeah. like. Ooh. 
for the last one, we have cream candy in Philippines, also known as white rabbit. Alright, so what is it? I don't know what it is. Actually, let me read it. It's a milk candy. I can't have milk. No, <laughs> I can't no. have dairy. Alright, that's fine. Well, no. Okay, so this says creamy candy, white rabbit, product of China. Made in Shanghai, China. Ingredients. Maltose, white granulated sugar, whole milk powder, butter, gelatin, vanillin, edible glutinous rice paper. All right, so this is gonna be super chewy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here. I think you're gonna need some this for that. Oh, it doesn't have a thing on it. No, no, it's got it right here. Oh, it does. Asian snacks. They always know what to do. All right. Describe it first before you open it up. Um, it feels kind of like. Okay, it feels hard. I was gonna say it feels like taffy, but taffy is softer than this. Okay. It smells. It kind of smells like condensed milk a little bit. Like sweet condensed milk. The wrapper's super cute. It smells good. Alright. You ready to have your first white rabbit? Here's what you're gonna do. Open it up. Mm -hmm. This. Oh, it has a rice paper around it. Okay. Oh! <laughs> and then? You know, I the only other candy that I've had with the rice paper around it is... I think Hi-Chews has that. Yeah. Here we go. Uh -huh. Start chewing on it. Count. That's hard. Oh, it's really hard. People can lose teeth from this. It's true. So I remember my mom's story when she was younger, she worked at her aunt's store and she would just eat this all day. And she said her teeth would fall out. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious. It gets softer too. She really got to work it. <laughs> you were right, it's taffy. It's taffy, right? Mm -hmm. So. It's like a really hard taffy. It's stuck in my teeth. <laughs> you do have to be careful. While chewing on this, you may chew on your tongue by accident or your gums. So just be very careful. It's that chewy. So I had a mis I had the mistake of eating this. Oh no 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 no! So uh, a story I have from the past was one of my teeth back here was falling off. But I think it was our neighbor. She had the bright idea of giving me white rabbit to loosen up my teeth. So I ate this, and your shoes. It worked. And then it started bleeding. So I was eating candy and blood. Ew. <laughs> but it did get the job done. But you'll notice if you keep chewing on it, it gets hot. You'll feel the candy get hot. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, it is You hot. put your tongue on there. Interesting. I like it. I wouldn't give it to children though. It's a tea throttle for sure. Yeah. So now I'm gonna rate which snacks I like the best. Mm. <laughs> I can I can almost guess. Go ahead, sweet guess. Sweet corn? Okay. Sweet corn maybe? Well, how do you think <laughs> I'm gonna do a lineup here? I'm gonna move this out the way. 
What's my lineup? This one first. This one. favorite that this is it. Sweet corn, cheese ring, the garlic flavored sky flakes, the oishi spicy flavor, clover, the sunflower crackers, the chichicorn, chichicorn, and the original flavor. Lastly, prawn snacks. So this is my actual lineup. Sweet corn number one. <laughs> back up, back up, back up. Let, let me, let the master do their work. Oh! You like cheese rings number one? Cheese rings number one, yeah. Wow. Let me, let me, let me work. Let me work. <laughs> okay, I was close. Wow! Okay. But this with the vinegar. Okay. Okay, so my number one is these. The cheese wow. ring. I, I didn't expect that. Number two is the garlic flavor sky flakes. Word up, Bawang Gang. <laughs> Next is sweet corn number three. Number four is the spicy prawns. Five is a clover. I would have had this up further, but I wasn't a fan of the MSG and making my mouth dry. Six is the original Oishi prawn crackers, but only with the vinegar. If it wasn't with the vinegar, it would probably be dead last. <laughs> so thank you so much, mother-in-law, mama, for the vinegar tip, because that saved the snack. <laughs> Number seven is the sunflower crackers. And last, at number eight, is the chicha corn. The Ioko, the Ilocos, the Ilocos chicha corn. Yeah. For me, it didn't have as much flavor as some of the other ones, so that made it last for me. But I think you'd change your mind if you had something to drink with it. Probably. Yeah. yeah. If I had a beer, probably. Can you say pulutan? Pulutan. 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 Oh. He loves those, those prawn crackers. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. Please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps in the algorithm. And the more that you help me, the more I can make for you. So, again, please give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe if you're feeling my vibe. Go ahead and click on that notification bell so that way you can be notified for any and all of my videos, especially for part two of this series that I have going on. Thank you so much, you guys, for all your input. I love that you all are, are commenting and giving me suggestions whenever I ask for it. It's really amazing. So please, 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 any and all feedback that you have and suggestions, just let me know down below or whenever I post up on the community tab. Keep engaging page. with us, yeah. Yes, just all the suggestions. Go ahead, just go for it, all of it. And if you have pictures or videos to send related to this, go ahead, tag me on Instagram, on Facebook. I have that all linked up here and down below. But yeah, until next time. My long people! Mahan na mahan ko kayo.